Oh, hey guys. Today we're going to be doing some work on a, uh, an issue that my client actually had when she was trying. She had a brand new build and the uh, her motherboard was the uh, an Asus ROG Strix System uh, Model B as in Bob 650-A gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. It was a brand new build. She couldn't figure it out because she was what she was having problems with was she was getting this error when she was going through the install, the Windows install. And when I was doing it myself, when she had brought it here, I was actually getting the same error. But then I also got another error, which I did take the picture of, but the problem is it was kind of blurry. So there was another like a 0XC, you know, 000, I think it was like an 850 error. Um, very similar to this one here, as you can see here. This was the original error that I was getting and she was getting, and I got that error. So the best way to actually allow you to reinstall the Windows without getting this error, this is what you need to do. Um, and as you can, I, th I think this is the best for me to show you here because at least you can really zoom in and just take a look. So just to give you an idea, to get into this menu here, so even at this stage here, going back to step two, at the stage that you're at here, all you have to do is just push, just hold down your, your shift and then the F10 key at the same time. Now what's going to happen is that you're going to actually get an overlap where the, uh, the dot, uh, the command prompt will overlap your installation screen. So this is what you'll see. And the first command that you're going to do in this section here, if you look at the first line here, um, all you have to do is just type in the word disk part, D I S K P A R T. P -A -R -T. And I'll actually have the sample here for you guys to follow step by step. But if you, at least if you're looking at this, you'll know exactly what it's going to look like. And that's why I would rather show you this, this to you guys. And then once you see the commands and it'll just, literally make it really easy for you guys to understand. So remember, once you're at the uh, the, the command prompt here, you're not going to see any of this stuff here because this is this is the whole step by step that what I'm showing you here. So this first line here, all you're going to have to do is just type in the command disk part with a K and then press enter. And then what it's going to do is it's going to bring you to this section here. It's going to load up it's going to go it's going to go to this part this part here this is all it's going to show and then your second step all you're going to do is type in another command which is list disk and then once you type in list disk and press enter you're going to see this section here which is basically this uh well this is my client's drive right she actually has a you know a samsung evo a two terabyte hard drive as you can see here this is her samsung evo and i put in another my drive a, a 500 gig corsair and m.2 also just to do other testing because what really threw me off with this issue that she was having, she didn't have just one problem with her brand new motherboard. She had two major issues, which was really throwing me off because that's why I was getting a lot of bunch of other errors, booting issues and stuff like that, which I will explain. So what I want to do is just to get you guys to resolve this part in case if you guys don't have the secondary issue, because you might have a different motherboard and run into the same problem as what she is. So to resolve this, as you can see here, she has a two terabyte drive. And then I put in my 500 gig Corsair M.2. And then this is my flash drive. So this is my Windows bootable drive. So remember, right? As you can see, they're labeled as disk 0, 1, and 2. So do not touch disk 2 because that is going to be your, your Windows installation you know, USB flash drive. So don't even touch that. So in this situation here, let's just say that you only see one hard drive. You know, or if you have two. But just make sure that the one that you're installing Windows is, is the one that you want to, to activate. And, and not mess up any other drive because it will not show up, you know, if you end up doing it wrong. So just, just pretend that this 500 gig isn't here and then you see this two terabyte that is your drive, regardless if it's 500 gig or one terabyte, whatever. Choose the proper drive for this. So what you just, what I did here, as you can see, I chose her drive, which I typed in right here. So if you look at here, as I, I typed in the next command would be select disk zero, which is her two terabyte drive if you look at it here. So once you choose that, you just press enter and then your next command you're going to you're going to see is just you type in the command clean just follow my cursor which is very simple to do type in the command clean press enter and then you're going to see that the command was actually complete it says this part succeeded in cleaning the disk and then it, it goes back to this part again so then your last command that you're going to type in to make sure that the drive can be used in this installation without any errors is to type in the the command convert mbr and then press enter afterwards. And then as you can see here, it's going to say that this part successfully converted the selected disk to MBR format. And then once you see the disk part here, you're going to see that the curse is going to be blinking underneath that the disk part command right at the bottom left. 
just type the command exit twice. Just type in exit, press enter, and then it's going to prompt you. It's going to request, it's going to need you to type in the exit. You have to type in the word exit again, then press enter. Once you do that, this whole box will disappear. And then, so going back to this here, you know, this is what you're going to see in the partition table here, because if you look at it here, it's exactly the same, two terabyte, 500 gig, and my flash drive, right? So if you look at it here, you're only going to see the two hard drives, not my flash drive, because that's the installation, the Windows installation drive. But this is the command here that you will see. So this is very well laid out. You just type in the word, the, the command disk part, list disk, you know, select the disk, which we end up choosing zero in this scenario here in this situation because this is a drive that i want to make sure that is going to work in the windows installation so whatever size drive you have just make sure you choose the right one so this is the command here if you want to follow but i find that if you actually look at this it's very easy right this part and then you just you just follow this source here the disk part here list this enter this shows up this part shows up again select this zero because we're doing the two terabyte drive which is labeled as disk this zero just follow these lines here this part this part this part and stuff like that you know and then it's very easy but you can always at least the whole thing is you can always refer back to this because you know it, it, it's zoomed in as, as as the best that i can for you guys to follow so going back to this here since we don't need to touch in my 500 gig you know ssd which is the m.2 here from corsair all you got to make sure that if you have you know, uh, a previously installed Windows that you wanted to reinstall, you know, is, uh, is that you got to make sure that all these additional partitions, because this 100 meg and, the, and 16 meg belongs to this 1862.9 gig terabyte. So you got to make sure that you select this, choose delete, select partition two, choose delete, and then this will become one. And then once you, once you see this as a whole partition, all you do is click on new. And then at the bottom here, just click on on next or to, to confirm the uh, the partitioning and and there you go. Just do the install and as you can see here, I, I went through the install quick because I was kind of running behind time and I had to do this quickly. And as you can see here, I was actually going through it zoomed through the uh, this installation within like not even a minute. That's how fast this girl system was. So it's a pretty good build. Um, you know, just remember that when you're at this process here, when you're prompted to press restart. Just make sure that you um, remove your your flash drive after you click on restart, and then the screen blanks out. When the screen blanks out, just remove your your flash drives to avoid. I, I, you know, sometimes what happens is with the Windows 10 or Windows 8 and stuff. Sometimes if you don't remove your Windows 10 installation flash drive, sometimes it'll actually go through the whole process of doing a new install again. So to avoid that complication, just make sure that you remove your USB flash drive after. After, when you click on restart, the screen blanks out. And then once it blanks out, remove it. And then it'll actually continue on with the rest of the installation. And as you can see here, I'm actually at the Windows desktop. And and um, and it didn't have any issues at all. So so that was those steps above. That was to rectify the issue with the this error here and that, that a lot of people were getting. So the other problem that this client was actually having is that when I reinstalled the Windows, um, this was the other problem that she was having and I'm getting this error after the first reboot. And I'm like, what the heck was going on? Cause that wasn't a part of the, the other problems that I was having because I've dealt with that before. So this was actually due to a, uh, um, a faulty M.2, you know, bay that she actually had. And this is a brand new board that she had ordered from new egg. So this was one of the other errors that I got. And then also the other error, which, I thought I actually had it was another error that it also was right at the boot screen, the the, the pre-boot screen, where it was showing that it actually had to boot in the safe mode because it had some issues with the drivers or blah 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 or, or the source drive. You know, so I was thinking, you know what, it can't be the hard drive itself because usually when the hard drive is defective, it won't install Windows from zero to hundred percent. So we knew that that wasn't the issue. So what I did was I ended up taking here. So this is the motherboard she had, which is the Asus. ROG Strix B650-A gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. So if you look at this example here, her hard drive was installed in this bay here. And remember, this is a brand new system she just built literally today. And this is a this is where her M.2 was. So what I did was I ended up taking her M.2 and putting it into this bay here, the third bay, the way at the bottom. And once I did that, it literally got rid of this error. It got rid of this other safe mode error, and it didn't have a problem booting, you know, from beginning to end at all afterwards. 
then I was able to do my driver's install for the for the motherboard because she didn't bring me the CD. And I wanted to show you guys a trick on how you can do the install without um, having to really download a lot of drivers from the website, but use the Windows update and a few other things to to do the uh, to get the um, the drivers installed for the motherboard for that model. So in this situation here, is for you to to finish installing the uh, the the drivers for the motherboard, all you have to do is just go into the Windows update. And then what you'll see is that you'll under the Windows update right below it, you're going to see view op optional updates. And then when you see the view optional updates, you're going to see like a arrow on the top left hand corner that's pointing towards the view optional update. So once you click on the arrow, it's going to point down. Then you're going to see three other you know devices that you can actually install drivers for. So all you have to do is make sure that you put in the check mark in those three boxes under view ad, ad, optional updates and just and then click on download and install. And then once you've done that, um, the only things that was actually left in, in this driver's install that you needed to do, if you don't have a CD or misplaced your CD, we're going to go to the website here. Um, there was one for the Bluetooth, um, one for the um, two that was unknown, one for the Bluetooth and one for the LAN and one for the Wi-Fi. So for if you have that specific model here, which is the ROG Strix B650-8 gaming Wi-Fi motherboard, the proper driver for the uh, for the the LAN, it's actually not the one that's it, that's set by default because this is exactly how it looks like here in the beginning. So if you're using Windows 10, obviously this isn't going to work. So as soon as you click on Show All, this is the proper driver that you need to download and install so that your your Ethernet, uh, you know, uh, adapter that's built on your motherboard can actually work with the system. So that's the only way you're going to get it to work. So remember, don't download these two here. Download this one here. And then the wireless, the wireless is perfectly fine. If you download that, it'll work in Windows 10 and 11 environment because as you can see here, it works for 10 and 11. So that was perfectly fine. And the third driver that you needed to download, if you don't have the CD, is going to be this one here for the for the AMD chipset driver, which is drivers for your motherboard, your USB ports, 3.0, blah, 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 all that stuff. And then the last driver that you needed for this is the Bluetooth driver. So this one here, as you can see, it's also compatible with Windows 10 and 11. Just download that, extract the files. And if you don't have a, if you don't, you know, have a, an extraction tool to, to uh, decompress the uh, compressed files, they actually also provide you the WinRAR, which is an awesome, you know, software for you to use. So just download that and, you know, download that too, and then just extract your files using the software for the other four folders that you, for the, or for all the other four files that you downloaded to, to install. And then, and then your device manager will be completely clean and all of the drivers will be installed. I mean, and as for this motherboard um, model, you will have to restart twice during your Windows update to get all of the drivers installed for all of the other stuff that you needed to do. So the other four that you that you you that Windows 10 does not detect and can't install for you. So just remember, right? Bluetooth is one, the chipset is two, wireless is three, and then this one here, this Intel L225 LAN driver. So that one there. And then and then you guys will be good to go. So I mean I hope that this helps resolve a bunch of other things for you guys and and you know, it, it was kind of a little bit mind boggling because usually when I have problems with customers that have one issue, it's usually just one problem, not two problems. You know, so I had to charge a little bit more because, you know, this would actually fix the first issue. Remember that, right? If you follow this command here, this will fix the first issue that you're running with, with this error here, that pain in the ass error. So if you look at my steps here, it's pretty simple or just follow these steps here and just do that. And you can't make a mistake just looking at this here. Just pause the screen and just just follow step by step, and you guys will be good to go with that. And and remember, for the second part that she had an issue with, she actually had a defective, a defective uh, M.2 base. So the first bay here was defective, and that's why she was getting this error here. And then also another safe mode error, and the other error that she was getting a lot regarding this 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 the 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 uh, the bad dim slot only when the M.2 is plugged in. Because once you remove it, you're not going to get those errors. So the only time that the errors came up was that it was causing this screen, the safe mode error screen. And the other problem that was actually causing too was intermittent booting. Sometimes it would actually try to boot, you know, on the restart from Windows. 
and it would just go nowhere. It would not post again. I just, I would just have an orange light on my monitor. It just wouldn't go anywhere. But if I would power down the system and power it back up, it'll either go back into Windows or the other thing is it would actually go into the BIOS and just literally sit there and not show me any bootable devices, which I know there should be because there, there's, you know, there's a, there's the, the two terabyte hard drive in there with the Windows installed. It would not show anything in the, in the BIOS under the bootable devices. So I knew that something was wrong. You know, so and, and I hope that this helps you guys out because I even went into the boot options, you know, disabled the uh, secure boot, blah, 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 change it to other OS to the EUFI boot mode and, and the, the legacy, the CS7, all the other stuff like you normally do, you know, when, when you're trying to figure these things out. But none of that stuff worked. So the only thing that actually did work for this brand new motherboard setup for this chick was actually was to remove the M.2 from the defective drive bay and put it into I put in this one here. You probably put in this one here. It shouldn't change a thing. I can't see her having two, you know, bad M.2 bays. But, I mean, this one here, it worked for her. So I just left it there. And I gave her the option if she wanted to send the board back to, to Newegg. But she goes, nope. You know, she, she didn't want to deal with that. So she just told me to leave it under this third bay here. This is where I left her and her her uh, her Samsung Evo M.2 SSD. You know, so, you know, I hope that this helps you guys out. And if you guys have any questions anyways, please, you know, uh, just write it in the comments, you know, like the video and subscribe, you know. And, and like I said, I do my best to help people out because I've been doing this for 24 years. And and sometimes these still images are the best thing that you can look at. Because when I look at a lot of videos online, these guys are just zooming through the videos and not really zooming in to show you what they're doing step by step. And at least here, it's very easy you guys to pause. And if you want to reference... You know, this hard drive list with a two terabyte, you know, a Samsung Evo or a 500 gig Corsair, you can easily go back and forth with this. And that that's the awesome thing with with working with these still pictures, because you can easily relate to it, you know, back and forth. You know, see, this is two terabyte here. It matches the number right here. It's the same thing as the 465, which is my Corsair. So at least you guys will, won't make the error or the mistake of of choosing the wrong drive to 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 uh, initialize for it to work properly so that you can finish your Windows 10 install or your Windows 11 install, you know, um, and that does what's really important to me. So, I mean, you know, like I said, you know, please like, comment and subscribe, guys, and, and you have a good day. Cheers.